for all those that think they're targeted. You know, for a long time I was told, nope, no, it's not happening. No. But when you start seeing people that live around you and they got a like there's a truck straight down there facing me but they got a uh, piece of <clears throat> either steel or uh, aluminum fence post and then they don't even have a fence or a yard Uh, you know, that's either to make a, that's either to make a D-E-W, or to make a neural monitoring antenna or something of that nature. I've seen them in people in this viewing range. Now, I, I heard that, you know, to fuel a helicopter up, and take it over an area of a targeted individual to fill up any helicopter. It's like 10 grand plus. Taxpayers are footing the bill for that. Airplanes, when they direct them, you know, they redirect them over, you know, your house or something of that nature. There's fuel involved in that. <clears throat> then you got all these people that want to pay attention to you and, you know, they make you the outcast of society. When you, pilot, when you probably have the biggest heart of all of them. That's the sad part. Hold on. You know, it's bad enough. I never thought that a DEW would be used against an individual. Well, when I had to go to the hospital because I thought I was having a heart attack, that's when I figured it out that people would use them against you. Now there are news articles coming out saying that they're using those DEWs to start forest fires in California. It's in news articles. So if they'll start a forest fire, imagine what they're doing to the inside of your body. Imagine the scarring that it should be leaving if it causes a fire, it should be leaving some kind of marks inside your body. On your spine, on bones, on tissues, whatever. So... You know, the Bible says, 
forgive. Love your neighbor as much as yourself. Well, I've done more for, you know, any of my neighbors than they have me. And I'm not bragging and I'm not, I'm not trying to put it out there like, oh, you know, I'm better. Nope. I'm just trying to make it clear that I'm trying to live according to what the Bible is telling me. It says to not smoke. I prayed. I quit smoking overnight. Overnight. No withdrawal. Overnight. Now, I could see it at the beginning of the year when this all started, you know, if it was, you know, if it was going to be something, like if the info was being gathered for a specific reason other than to target and harass and to, to break my my will to to get me to stop doing you know my metal detecting and just everything else well it was succeeded but it was illegal wiretapping procuring of information spreading information throughout the community now i am the, the, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know, just isolate it to the fullest extent. These people that take part, they act like God's not going to judge them. I've gone to church, I've prayed. Everything you can do to put you in God's good graces, I've done. I've helped neighbors, I've helped, you know, beggars, I've helped people in need on the street, I've helped. Just, I've helped. Now, <clears throat> they're forgiving. You'll forgive, but you'll never forget. So, I can forgive, but in the end, it's, will he forgive? <clears throat> That's the bottom line. Because it says, do not walk with those, do not sit with those who are works of darkness or have wickedness and evilness and all that. They have no place in the kingdom of heaven. All those things. But I figured I'd bring up the fence post because I noticed so many people either having it or coming or going with it and don't even have a yard, don't even have a fence. So, I mean, it, it, it just, it, it has to come to an end because it just gets so old after a while that, <clears throat> When you haven't smoked in so long and you say you're sharp, people ought to take you for your word.
But what 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 hurts the worst is when you say to someone through one of these messages after you read a prayer that they should repent, read the Bible, you know, watch a couple of videos of people saying that they uh, died and went to heaven or went to hell. And the Lord sent them back, and they've changed their whole life. <clears throat> but do you think people would do that just because? I'm not I'm talking about the ones that went to hell. Do you think they would change their whole life? Because they went to hell? Do you think that they would just change it up like that? I feel sorry when the Lord goes, <clears throat> oh, well, you made, you know, 200 videos in six months' time saying people need to repent, people need to do this, people need to do that, and yet, through the whole time, I kept a positive attitude, I kept praying, Those people are, they, he's going to say, you, you never turned your back on the wickedness. You had pure evil intent in your heart. I hope he doesn't say it. But, I don't know. I hope he lets everyone into heaven, you know, but I just don't see that happening. Well, all I can say is, is I made enough videos to say I forgive. I'm sorry. I, 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 I forgive all, I bear no harsh or hatred, but it seems like others still do, and that's the sad part, so, when they get to heaven, uh, God's gonna say, well, did you forgive? And they're going to say, oh yeah, we forgave. And he's going to open the book and he's going to say, no, you didn't. Be gone from me. You did not know me. So, think about it. Read the book. Look up what I'm saying if you think I'm joking. If you, if you don't think I'm on the money with it, look it up. God bless. Have a good day.